Let's just do one last thing, and that's to add a motion blend transition in and out. Ever so simple to do. Library, Transitions, Motion Blends. Select the transition type, preview by hovering over the thumbnail, and apply by double clicking. Have another look at the timeline, and you can see where the transition's been placed. You can lengthen it, shorten it, or move it to the other end of your track so it becomes a transition out. And remember, you can have multiple transitions just like effects. So let's add one of the inbuilt transitions. I'm going to use Fade In, move it to the end, and our paragraph dissolves away quite nicely. We may as well start in a similar way by adding a Fade In. Uh, this time we'll use the Fade Letter preset. And though I say so myself, I think that's rather splendid. Animating effects and transitions really opens up the possibilities that Title Pro has to offer, and there's pretty much no end to what you can create, at least as far as titles go. These examples took me literally a few minutes to come up with, and for me, that's the real beauty of Title Pro. It's so easy to come up with new ideas just by playing around and exploring. And I can tell you I am really excited at the prospect of having all the other new blue effects and transition packs available to me from within Titler Pro. This is one powerful titling tool. As always, I urge you to just explore for yourself all the possibilities Titler Pro has to offer. We have more tutorials planned, so keep tuning in. Meanwhile, this is Ian Stark saying have fun and thanks for watching.